I just I got this letter from the Tom Harold Bogan. And he tells me that I should tell you that I was a major sponsor of the web of the discovery zone. <laughs> <laughs> and that everyone would appreciate it. Because he has a very large power. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but I got this the only email I got. We all like the and I thought I'd pass it on to you. It, it's <laughs> uh, you know, I just you know, this is a this is a major project. You know, it's probably the largest thing that's uh, going to be built in this town. Um, it's a very important project, um, and it's a very complicated project. Uh, uh, and I thought I'd give you just a quick history of how I got involved in it and how I'm here. Uh, basically, I, I sold a piece of property in Bridgeport, uh, an office building, and then you have one of so many uh, months to find another investment that you can go to. And uh, I was lucky enough to find this piece of property, and I, I became uh, partners with uh, John Kimball and the Julian Brothers on the property. Uh, I became partners with them because uh, Swiss Army, uh, I was with trying to put them on a site I owned in Shuffle. And I was afraid to put them on that site because the land went like this and I would have to fill in and to build a warehouse on fill is not good. Because that's how warehouses crack. So I didn't want to do the deal with them for that reason. But I did develop a real, a, a good trust with them. Uh, they really believed that I was looking out for them. <coughs> and I told them, I said, listen, I've got a site in Monroe. Um, it's not a traditional office ma manufactured type of a location, but we can do the deal right away if we want to move on it. So I was able to get them to come to that site and it really worked out fabulous. I think they built a fabulous building. Uh, it's a real, you know, good citizen. They're very good people. And I think that building really harmonizes. I think the colors harmonizes with the whole environment. When you go in there, you see the background of the green behind it. It looks very good. Uh, the, uh, so from, from that point on, uh, we have the rest of this property to look at. And we did get it zoned for retail, hoping that we might be able to uh, do a retail project there someday. Uh, that was one of our, of our, our ideas. But the, the retail, it, it being so far in the back of the site, it doesn't lend itself to retail. Uh, a, a, a store like Costco would, would go there because Costco doesn't care about being on the main avenue, but it's not a perfect retail site. Um, so we were able to uh, talk to the Jewish home. Um, and it was at this point that uh, I, I have an agreement with my partners, uh, Dan Julian and Kent and uh, John Kimball and his mom, to buy out their half of the project and move ahead with the Jewish home. And the reason for that is um, people are in real estate for different reasons. I'm in it for the very long term. You know, I, I've got my son here, this is a generation investment, okay? You know, I, I don't expect to see any money out of this deal, but I hope he does, so. Um, and that's the way the nature of the business is. Uh, where my partners are more or less interested in, you know, making a profit uh, and then moving on to the next project. So we've had a great partnership. Um, it, it's been great for both of us, and so, so that's what we're doing at this point. Okay? Now what I'd like you to take a look at, I'd like you to take a look at a seven minute, very moving film about the Jewish home. About the Jewish home. Um, half the people in the Jewish home are not Jewish. Okay? Half. And, and they're just a, it's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous organization. And I think once you see this film, you'll see why I'm so excited about doing this project. It's not so much for the money as it is for the relationships that I'm going to develop with the beautiful people who are in this home. So with that said, I'd like to show you the movie, and then we'll continue the presentation. 